what's going on my youtubers it is your boy ghostface gaming back once again the dragon ball super dragon ball xenoverse updated news um yeah i'll pause for a second but uh yeah i didn't get to go to comic con this week as you can see in the background right there before i get into it you know this is my one of my depictions from photo mode <clears throat> um yeah you know god goes to the beat even when i haven't really? played in a while you know when i get these matches and raids and stuff like that you know oh you feel me i does my thing as you can see that was god so cool again god go space <laughs> Word, but like I said, this is another Dragon Ball Super update and dude. Dragon Ball Universe 2 news. I don't want to get too in-depth in it. But we're gonna talk about this for a second. So as you know, there's been a lot of news controversy uh in the xenoverse world lately um i don't know what it is i'm gonna touch on this first try not to stick on it too long before i actually get into the of uh, this video and my issue right now is like the attack or the dragon ball fan we are seriously under attack by Shueisha and Toei Animation and all those people over there in Japan. Now, how I plan to start this is, if any of you are Dragon Ball Super fans, then you know, before Dragon Ball started, that before you know, we had Battle of the God. Well, first off, before we had Son Goku and his friends return, before we had Battle of the Gods, before we had Resurrection F and Dragon Ball Super, us as a community, as Dragon Ball fans, had nothing. You know what I'm saying? Other than a few shoddy video games here and there. Ten Tenkaichi Budokai was the best series of video games that. Dragon Ball has produced. I can't wait for Project Z, even though I hate the fact that they're starting at Z. You know, because we retold told that story five million times, as in, you know, the Spider-Man, like, that's why I like Homecoming so much, because we didn't necessarily go back and redo Spider-Man's origins all over again. You know, that is the most aggravating thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? For fans to rehash the same thing over and over and over. But anyway, to that point being said, for I can remember Dragon Ball ended in like 98. And then after that, we had Dragon Ball GT, which was made by Toei to to Animation. Toria, Akira Toriyama had little to no input, I should say, on, on Dragon Ball Zetaverse. He desired some planets, he desired some characters. As far as the story goes, he had nothing to do with it. So, halfway through the video, the point I am getting at is, we had Tor Toyotaro, right? Toyotaro is one of the creators of Dragon Ball AF or Dragon Ball R2. You know what I'm saying? If you have things like that, you have things like uh, Gillis, and you have Bastard Media, and you have a lot of other people that put out content, fan, fan made content. You know what I'm saying? Fan made content or retelling your imagination, what if stories that we never got completion to for Dragon Ball, like what if Vegito never fused, I mean never defused, you know what I'm saying, what if 
we died instead of Universal Levy and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy because uh, Toei, I mean, uh, Tori Taro came directly out of fan animation. The territory, I'm gonna pick this man up, put him on the team, put him in control of the manga. I give you bullet points, and you tell my story. So the part I get that is, the fans are what kept the, the, the hype and the fire behind Dragon Ball alive for the past 10 years. You know what I mean? And for the fact that the fans see this counterproductive, they be like forever in the world, unrelent gaming, beat them one on one. Black stuff have all commented on this because they 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 have a tendency to do reviews on fan made mangas and stuff like that if it catches their attention you know just being Dragon Ball fans you know what I'm saying and once again the pictures you see the bull of the screen are capture screenshots from photo mode on Xenoverse but anyway to the point you know these guys review mangas. And it's gotten to the point where Japan feels like that you showing panels from a fan-made manga is a part of their content. So they're up to the point where they're asking Google and YouTube to whoever is making fan-made content, give me their IP address, give me their information, give me their bank accounts, give me everything about them. And we're going to sue them. That is so counterproductive in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Even though they see it that way. Because obviously from a lot of stories, you pull from either Dragon Ball GT, which is for the most part bad made, even though it comes from Toei Animation. And, and, and AL, you know what I'm saying? You pull stories from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Online and Dragon Ball Heroes. So my thing is like... Why they are attacking the community for keeping the Dragon Ball fire alive? Because if it wasn't for the community, we wouldn't have got a Son Goku and his first return. We wouldn't have got a Battle of Gods. We wouldn't have got a Resurrection of Earth. We damn sure wouldn't have got a Dragon Ball Super Series. And we damn sure wouldn't have got a Brawly movie with another one coming and the series coming back. So, obviously, I'm not getting into no reason on this video. This is a straight prank. We are the ones, as a community, has what has what's been keeping Dragon Ball alive for the last 20 years. So, for y'all to say that it's counterproductive and we're killing off the community, it hurts us very much. So, and I wish that Japan, Toei Animation, Shueisha, and Shonen Jump, and all that see that the fires behind the highest attack is you know what I mean like I mean because be, let's be real some of us could have went in there and wrote those storylines a little bit better especially for Dragon Ball Super during the filler moments you know what I mean so that's why we're hoping with Super Returns that it'll be top notch since they're taking so long to return now something else I wanted to add a clip to I might add in here right after this shot right here I might go ahead and add a clip in here uh, DLC 9 on the pack. Obviously, it's coming soon. Today is Monday. I went into the, uh, the Play Store to see about add ons, and it would not let me get into the Play Store. The only thing it kept saying is this content is unavailable at this time. So maybe they're updating the server for the free download. I want more than Vegeta for a free download. And I damn sure want more than Rimri Ann as a character. Now, it's two of them that they only had two characters to. And we got Goku and Jiren. And then we got Kalifla. And I think it was Super Saiyan Blue. Or something. And then we got Broly. And then we got Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. But the point that I'm getting at is hopefully that that's what they're working on today. And the free content will be here by the end of the week because DLC pack is supposed to drop next week. The same time as Mortal Kombat pack, Combat pack one. So we're gonna see how this works out, man. This is just my rant on why they are attacking the community the way they are. You know what I'm saying? Toei Animation situation, give us some leeway, man. For real, let us breathe and keep the community going. 
It's your boy Ghostface Gaming. Like, subscribe, and share, man.